So you can load a heavy log in the back or a stone or a sack, anything like that. Very handy and convenient. You can pivot on a dime or on a euro, ten cent coin. Okay, so the first thing I did was measure the legs. 20 millimeter box metal, 20 millimeter inside measurement. Uh, it's like 25 on the outside. That's the axle, okay. You want to crimp the ends of the axle just a tiny bit because the bolt that we're going to put in which is going to hold the wheel is a tiny bit less you see you just want it to be tight you don't want to be able to slide it in cut the head off the bolt you want the thread part sticking out okay so we only actually want it going in about an inch to an inch and a quarter depending on your bolt and the wheel that you have basically you want the the wheel to be the, the load and the wheel wants to be right there between the threads on the end and the axle you don't want the the little bearings in the wheel to be riding on thread really I think so mark everything tap them in you shouldn't have to pound them in now that went in too far okay so if that happens put the nut back on and just gently gently tap it back out and the threads on those 20 mil rods are quite big so you're not really going to damage them okay so when you've done that we got to try and get everything nice and straight so this is actually the trickiest part of the whole thing really the crimping on the ends of the box metal allow you to adjust it slightly you need to give them a little whack so I want to get everything totally straight turn check adjust as necessary I mean it's not a precision instrument but the straighter the better and then just a dab of weld to hold and uh, the wheel what would you call them the wheel studs or whatever and check again and then you want to fill up basically the 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 corners of the box metal and all around with a bead of weld and I didn't go totally over the top there's no need we just want to get a bit of penetration on each corner I mean it's not going to be carrying a lot of weight and grind with a a grinding wheel and also kind of finish up and tidy up the just just where the where the thing fits on there you go see lovely okay again there is going to be play in these wheels they're not precision items but you want it to be roughly square then you decide where you want the axle to be measure it up check that there's clearance between the tire of the wheel and the uh, the frame of the of the foot of the wheelbarrow there's about a quarter inch on each side on this particular project which is loads and then the fun part drilling the metal I don't have a press drill so I hammered my drill bits and broke a couple of them and it's difficult drilling into a tube like that is not easy at the best of times so I use the, the the two holes in the axle as a guide to start the hole in the tube, then take the axle away and then finish it once you've got that dimple started. 
long story short, you get your holes drilled. You put the bolt in one side tight enough that it just holds it and then you can fine tune the other side. I eyeball them up to the to the strut on the, the wheelbarrow that comes on the wheelbarrow. But bear in mind the frame of the wheelbarrow again it's not going to be totally square so really the you know the axle wants to be square to the front wheel really so you eyeball it compromise drill again then you put your washers on wheels on and lock nuts, nylock nuts. After everything works and you've established that everything's fine, you give it a coat of Galva Freud zinc undercoat primer. Um, I actually wiped it down with meths first, just in case there was any uh, oil or any kind of grease on the box metal. I haven't tightened up the the wheel nuts yet. This is just uh, just sitting sitting there on the studs. You see, and they stay on. There's actually no problem there. Uh, this is with the wheel nuts tightened up. The great thing about these barrows is you, you can mix it up a bit, you can drag them, you can push them. I put a strap between the two handles, the, the white handle grips, and you can then use that strap. You can kind of pull it like a harness or you can push against it with your hips and uh, you can tow it behind you, all kinds of things. Now here I'm mixing up some epoxy putty. This is a metal powder impregnated putty. Um, and the plan with this is just to pack underneath the washers on both sides of the tube frame of the barrow between the washer and the tube. So I mix up four little, divide it into four balls, pack it around the nut and just gently push it on. I actually put far too much on here. I wasted probably three quarters of what I'd made. You only need a little bit for this. That's far too much, but anyway. Okay, and that then holds your um, your bolts. And another donut on the other side. And the purpose of this epoxy putty is basically twofold. The first thing it does is it will fill the gap in between the square tube frame and the, uh, the, the the square axle and the tubular frame so if there ever develops a little play or movement you know that epoxy putty will stop that it'll keep everything nice and tight and rigid and the other thing is it, it'll keep um, the ingress of uh, water out of the so it can't get in into the bolt hole and start causing rust in the tube frame and I've painted the whole lot then again with um, hammerite. And the hammerite is it's um, a rubberized paint. Here you go. Make sure it spins, spins freely. You want it to be spinning with, without resistance and then tighten up a little bit just until it starts to bind and then back off just a tiny bit. And then you can grind off. Leave a couple of threads showing. You don't want to grind it flush to the nut, leave a few uh, threads showing. They're going to be razor sharp, so I try and modify them with a file. Now, it is going to damage the threads, but it won't matter. The nut's already on there. If you take the nut off, it will reform the thread as it comes off when you want to replace the wheels, which is for safety and sharp edges. And the great thing with this barrow is you can climb steps with it. You can, you can do all kinds of strange things. And again, the backloading function 
instead of messing around with a normal barrow you know the way you have to tip it on the side and it, it just never works properly and this thing brilliant <laughs>